Shalom, shalom, peace, power, and blessings, family, peace, power, and blessings, man. You already know who it is and what it is. It's your brother back with another endeavor of love. First and foremost, want to stop and give call hello until you howl. Bashema, mashiach, mamalaki, howl shy. Or in the English tongue, I want to stop and give all honor, glorification, and praises unto the most high God of this Bible, who the world calls Yahweh. Doing so in the name of his only begotten son, who the world calls Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo, the life, the truth, and the way. Listen with no delaying, man. It's cutting the cat. 2024, as strangers and pilgrims, man, listen. We're going to get it done, man, right? Through the power and the spirit of the most high God, man. But first and foremost, I need you to understand one thing, right? Listen, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, starting at verse 1, and it reads, And brethren, when I came to you, I came not with excellency of speech or wisdom. Listen, listen. Declaring unto you the testimonies of God, for I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And listen, man, we preach Christ resurrected. Ugh. Hey, listen, family. One thing you need to understand, I do biblical spirituals. I don't have the best of speech. And I determined to know nothing amongst you guys, right? Hey, reading on at three, listen. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and as and in much trembling for. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but a demonstration of the spirit of the power. Listen, man. Listen. What you guys need to understand after I butchered that reading <laughs> is what you about to see is a spiritual manifestation. Listen, man. I don't have the most eloquent speech and the most high gave this thing, man. Huh? According to the Great Awakening, he said he used the, the 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 simple things in earth to confound the wise. Well, that's what you're seeing here, fellas, right? Brother, sister, understand this. Number five, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. Hey, listen, man. For once again, my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. Listen, man, and today we're going to cut man's understanding with the spiritual manifestation. Huh? Strap up and strap in, man. Huh? It's spiritual. You got to understand this. Read 13. Read. Which things also we speak not in words, which man's wisdom teacheth. But which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Hey, man, y'all better, man, y'all not understanding what's going on. Strap up and strap in. It's already spiritual, right? Your brother do biblical spirituals, and we about to go in, huh? And I'm going to show you something, huh? According to pilgrims. Now, let's get carnal flesh man's understanding on what pilgrim is. We're going to go to the concordance, a.k.a. the back of your, your Bible in the dictionary. Right, and it's got a word. It says what pilgrims. It's got verses there, man. Listen, but what the definition say? It says wanderers. Now listen, man. Cutting the cap, twenty twenty four. Hey, we say all this to say this. This book is, is is spiritual, right? Man who translate and read it on a carnal and base surface level, he get understanding. He get lit up, man. His eyes become enlightened. The brother gets some knowledge and understanding. But you must understand this, right? Give me the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. Read it. Listen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Listen, man. You got to understand one thing, family. This book is spiritual and to understand the, the, the deeper wisdom, knowledge and understanding that this thing got, you have to be a spiritual man, right? Now I'm going to show y'all something about this pilgrimage. The thing said wanderers, right? Let's go through the precepts and let Christ speak, shall we? We're going to go into this 1611 KJV. This is the apographer, a.k.a. Meaning the hidden books. Everybody always got a controversy about the Bible. Man, how y'all read that Bible, bro? 
they took some stuff up out of there, man. How y'all read? Because it's alive, brother, right? When you look at geopolitical issues happening on the earth, it was already foretold to you in the book of Matthew 24, Luke 21, and Mark 13. It says it must be wars and rumors of wars, and these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, yet and yet. And men shall look on these great signs from heaven. Huh? They shall look on these great signs from heaven with great fear. But he told us in Luke 21, we see these things not to be fearful, but to lift our heads, knowing our salvation draweth not. Well, accordingly, man, right? Seeing all these signs, man, you got to understand. We know what's going on. And we come to strap up the body, man, right? Hey, listen, this is the Apocrypha 1611. The hidden things ain't hidden no more. And they being taught to you according to the spirit. Let's go in. This is the book of Second Edris, right? Chapter 16, reading at verse 40. Watch this. Read what it say, man. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Now, listen. The carnal definition huh, of the evils. No, Salakia. The carnal definition of pilgrims is to be a, a wanderer. But in the, in the book of the Apographer, it say what? Oh, my people. Who's that? The Israelites. Listen, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Now, listen, man, we're going to cut the cap. The definition and biblical understanding of the pilgrimage is not to be wandering. We, the Lord, you think the Lord going to give us a commandment in 2024? To be wandering here from no man, it say be not a a a a a a a, a tree shaken and blown every which way, huh? But be founded, huh? In the rock that is Christ, man. Be built upon that foundation that is Christ. Don't be blown here to and fro with every wind of doctrine out here, man. And when the storms of life come, brother, be founded on the rock that's Christ, brother, so that your house can stand. If you understand, you got to hear it here. Listen, I'm going to spill something spiritual. The Most High is not commanding us to be no damn wanderers, man. But he said right here, if you read it, here's the key, fellas. Watch this. Brothers, sisters, listen. This is second address. And we're going to prove this book with this book and tell you that it's all saying the same thing. And we're going to come back to this. Watch this. This is 2nd Edris chapter 16, reading at verse 40 again, and it reads, O my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon earth. It says what? Even in the evils. Let's get some spiritual manifestation of the Most High God on this topic. Huh? Listen, man, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, we're going to get understanding. Give me the book of 1 Peter. We done did, we done did this. Hey, I want to come back to that. I love that. It's my favorite right now. You feel me? Give me the book of 1 Peter, though. Salakia, so bear with me. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, reading at verse 8. Hey, we're talking about the pilgrimage, man. Watch this. Watch this. You commanded to be a wanderer? Read what this say. Watch this. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, reading at verse 8, and it reads, And a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient. So how do we stumble? Disobedience. Listen, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, and a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Ten, most importantly, well, not most importantly, eleven. Listen, it's most important, but ten. In times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Eleven, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Hey, listen. Do y'all understand? Listen, it can smack you in your head and you not even know it, right? Slacky if I didn't read it right. But do you understand what the pilgrimage is about? Listen, listen. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 11. It reads, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. 12. 
having your conversation honest amongst the Gentiles, whereas they speak evil, whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Do you understand this, man? Listen, this King English says that the King's English breaking that down, it says that we need to abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Listen, your brother started off with the book of first Corinthians chapter two and verse 14. It told you that this whole thing is spiritual, right? That the spirit warreth against the, amen. Give me Galatians through the spirit. Salakia. I'm just going to go on, go off one time. Give me Galatians. See if I can get that Salakia, y'all. We just gonna we're gonna hey listen, because Christ in the value, man. Listen, this is the book of Galatians, right? Chapter 5. Watch this. This is Galatians chapter 5, reading at verse 17. And it reads, listen, listen. Salakia, we're gonna start at 16, and it reads. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 17. For the lust, listen. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Hey, listen, man. What's the flesh? We know you read down here. It's idolatry, witchcraft, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, wrath, strife. What's the, what's the spirit? Listen, hey, the spirit is love, joy. Peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Come on, man. Against such there is no law. We got to understand. We got to move in the spirit, y'all. Right? This is crazy how this is manifesting. I'm getting blown away right now, right? Hey, give me first Peter again. Hey, I never know how it's gonna go, but I always want to stop and give thanks, power, praise, and honor, glorification unto the most high God. I'm not no teacher. I do biblical spirituals, man, so that you can understand. There's a spirit alive in this book. Hashtag it's alive. And when you hear it, you can come alive, man. Listen, we need to be abstaining from fleshly lust. Hey, read me that definition one more time, man. Listen, dearly beloved, I beseech thee. I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul, having your conversations honest amongst the Gentiles. Huh? That whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation, man. When this thing tell us, man, when second address, so like here, when second address 16 and verse 40, tell us, oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. You got to understand, man, the carnal man cannot understand the spiritual manifestation of the most high God and his carnal definition. Of a wanderer, bro, is not what God is commanding us to be in this year of 2024, our Lord, right? Hey, man, we supposed to be abstaining from fleshly lust and desire. Look at this, man, March, man. Great, terrible signs from, from, the, from the heavens, man. Luke 21, man, we told you, Mark 13, right? Give me the last one, man. We're going we gonna to knock this thing home. We're going to bring this thing home through the power of the Spirit, man, right? Give me Hebrews. So, lucky, I'm starting to get filled up. Let me stick to these scripts. Give me Hebrews, right? We're going to read that verse 11. That was the spirit. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 11, right? Reading at verse 13. Just getting some deeper understanding, man, because, you know, like I said, precept upon precept, man, Christ going to prove a man, right? Okay. And we're going to understand the spirit manifestation of the strangers and the pilgrimage, man. Listen, we're not supposed to be wandering from here and there. Bruh, when you understand, Christ said he, he, he prepared a place us in the presence of our enemy a table we're gonna eat man listen he said his his mansion his father house got many mansions listen man listen listen this is the book of hebrews right chapter 11 reading at verse 13 and it reads listen these all died in faith not having received the promises but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims upon the earth. Who is this talking about? Well, let's read for some context. Let's read. Who is it saying? Let's read down. It says who? Oh, by Abraham. Hey, listen, by faith, Abraham. So we're talking about father Abraham. Who are we talking about? Isaac, right? Jacob blessing Isaac and not Esau by faith. Listen, we're talking about father. Yaakov. We're talking about Joseph. Who else are we talking about? We're talking about Moses. Hey, man, hey, listen. So listen, if we if we stick to the carnal frame of mind and we read this at base level, you get no understanding, man, right? 
right? If you read this at the day, you, you have no understanding, you go to the definition, you say, okay, a pilgrim is just a wanderer. So listen, let's read this again and see if that worked, right? It says, and all these died, listen, in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced of them and confessed that they were strangers. So are we to believe at face value that all of our forefathers were just some wanderers? No, nah, man, that's not what it's talking about. It mean that they confess that they abstain from fleshly lust. Do I got to go back to first Peter? Okay, no, I'm not going to do it again. We know what's going on. Stay in the spirit, y'all. Listen, right? <laughs> We know that these brothers said that they abstain from fleshly lust. And let's read now in the spirit and get this full understanding. Because if we wanderers, explain this. Now, we ain't no wanderers, man. Hey, listen, we expecting something that your physical eyes cannot see and have not seen. We look at the earth tribulations and we see the second coming and men just seeing storms. I believe paraphrasing the story, he prayed that the man's eyes be opened up and the man's eyes was opened up and he looked up and he saw it was chariots and uh, chariots and horsemen of fire, man, in the sky with Elijah. Huh? And I pray today that through the spirit of Haba, by Shema Mashiach, hey, listen, man, through the spirit of the most high God and Christ who strengthens and governs through the Holy Spirit that you have ear to hear this thing. Listen, man. Hey, they confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. 14. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Hey, it sounds like they're strangers, right? Well, let's see. Let's see about it. 15. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country whence they came out, they might have had an opportunity to return. Who is this talking about? The chosen people. If they had repented a long time ago... Christ would have got them back in their land and been a father unto them and them a people unto God. Isaiah 60 and the book of Revelation, huh? Salvation. And continuing on 60, so I like you. Hey, listen, 16. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly. Hey, do you understand that the book of Corinthians said that this thing is spiritual? Hey, now nah, brothers was persuaded, huh? They seen the kingdom of heaven. Hey, bruh. Hamashiach came to brothers and gave them kingdom vision, man. And when they seen that thing, everything they was doing in this life was to assure and stack up points with the most high. To put bricks in, huh? to stack up riches in the kingdom of heaven. Brothers is not looking for this earthly place, man. We looking for the new heaven, the new earth that's going to come after this place is destroyed. All the wickedness, all the sin. Huh? All of it, man, it's got to go, man. And the king got a rule, man. And anybody who wished that Christ don't rule, he said, bring them before me and slay him. Hey, with that, man, it's going to be a, a done data, man. Listen, 16. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly whereof, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God for he have prepared it for them. Hey, listen, what a city, man. He have prepared it for them. What a city. Do y'all not understand? Do y'all not understand what's going on? Hey, listen, we are searching for the heavenly king. We need new Jerusalem. And everything that we do should be geared up, strapped up, focused up towards obtaining that salvation when the second coming of the Most High God. Hey, with that, man, it's been your brother, Yashirala. Mo, Mo, Yashirala, either way it go, you know exactly what it do. Call her law to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, woman like Hoshai. Or in the English tongue, all praises unto the Most High God of this Bible, who the world calls Yahweh, and we do so in the name of His only begotten Son, man. Hey, man. Y'all stay strapped up, man. Y'all stay supping with the Spirit. Y'all stay building that relationship, man. The Most High is going to do it, man. Huh? Y'all sit at His right hand until He make your enemies your footstool. No weapon formed against thee shall proper prosper, and we can do any and all things through Hamashiach who strengthens. With that, call out to Yahweh Bashem, man. All praises unto the Most High God, and say Shalom. Bang.